Okay, here are some uh, problems from section 1-2 exercise set. On problem 1 it says using the table above was the probability of randomly selecting a person that is between the ages of 26 to 35 and plans to vacation in the mountains. So they have to be both 26 to 35 and they have to be vacation in the mountains and the only people that satisfy both of those criteria are these 15 right here. So it's 15 out of the total amount of people, 175. Problem 2 says uh, same thing uh, from that table uh, was probably selecting a person that's between the ages of 26 to 35 or plans on vacation in the mountains. So this is the or compared to this one, the and where they had to satisfy both conditions. This one, the or, they only has to satisfy one of the conditions. So you have to use this formula. You've got to memorize this formula. The probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus their intersection. So just remember the probability of two things, this or that, one or the other, is equal to the sum of the two probabilities minus their intersection. So for our case, it's the two events are 26 to 35, and the other one is mountains. So the probability of, 20, of being in the age group 26 to 35 or liking to, uh, wanting to vacation in the mountains is equal to, going through this, the probability that uh, you're in the age group 26 to 35, which is 35 people out of the 175, plus the mountains. How many people like to vacation in the mountains? 60 out of the 175 minus the intersection. And that intersection was these 15 people there. And if you, you already have a common denominator, so just adding these up, you get 80 out of 175. Here's another one. Same thing, but now it's 30, 30, the age group 36 to 45. Okay, my apologies. I had a knock on my door and I had a uh, meet with a student, now I'm back, and um, uh, I forget where I was, but here on problem 2, 26 to 35 or mountains, it's the 26 to 35, which was 35 out of 175, that's these 35 right here, then plus the mountains, and the mountains was 60 out of 175 minus the intersection, that's those 15. 36 to 45 over the beach, well 36 to 45, that's these 35 out of the 175, plus the beach, that's the um, 65 out of 175 minus the intersection, so minus those 15 right there. And now skipping ahead, a lot of those are the same. Problem 7 says, uh, using the table above, what's the probability we're selecting a person that wants to vacation in the mountains or a historic location? Okay, so mountains is 60 out of 175. Uh, five historic location is 50 out of 175 and there's nothing in their intersection your favorite place to vacation is either this one or that one it can't be both as your favorite so there is no intersection to s subtract off so it's just 60 out of 175 plus 50 out of 175 minus nothing because there's nothing in the intersection I'm using the same formula in doing this and you get 110 out of 175 when there's nothing in the intersection that's said to be mutually exclusive so now, problem 8 says, name two events from the table that are mutually exclusive. Well, of course, mountains and uh, historic are mutually exclusive because both can't be your uh, favorite vacation spot. Just the same way as this age group and this age group are mutually exclusive. You can't be, be between the ages of 18 to 25 at the same time you're between the ages of 26 to 35. So that's impossible. But really when they're doing this, they're asking for something from this group and this group in which there's nothing in the intersection. And that one spot is this one right here. So that's the beach and age 65 and up. There's nobody uh, from this sample of 175 people whose favorite place to vacation is the beach who is also age 65 and up. So those two are the mutually exclusive events that they're looking for there. Okay, problem nine says decide if events A and B are mutually exclusive or not mutually, mutually exclusive. Now again, that means there's nothing in their, in their intersection. So this one is a die is rolled and event A is the result is a number greater than four and B as a result is a number less than four. Well, a number cannot be greater than four and less than four at the same time, so these are mutually exclusive because they both can't happen at the same time. Next one, 10. A uh, card is drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. The result is a club and the result is a king. Well, these both can happen at the same time because you could draw a king of clubs, so these are not mutually exclusive. Next one, uh, find the probability that um, the card is a jack or a club. Okay, a jack or a club, you would uh, get the probability of the jack, which is 4 out of 52, add on the probability of the club, 
which is 13 out of 52, and then subtract the intersection, which is the jack of clubs, 1 out of 52. So it would be 4 out of 52 plus 13 out of 52 minus 1 out of 52. And simplify that, and you get your answer. Uh, on this one, the events A and B are mutually exclusive, and it gives you the probability of A is this, the probability of B is 0.2, and it asks what's the probability of A and B. Well, if A and B are mutually exclusive, then there's nothing in the intersection, so the probability of A and B equals 0. Done. It doesn't matter what these are. If they're mutually exclusive, then the probability of A and B equals 0 all the time, if they're mutually exclusive. Okay, 13, they're mutually exclusive. Probably of A is 0.3, probably of B is 0.2. What's the probability of A or B this time, not A and B? Okay, well, the probability of A or B, you've got to know this formula, is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the intersection. So the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A, which is 0.3, plus the probability of B, which is 0.2, minus the intersection, which is 0, because they're mutually exclusive. So that gives you 0.5. 14 gives you that the probability of A or B is two-thirds, the probability of A is one-half, and the probability of A and B is one-third, and it's asking for the probability of A, uh, uh, the probability of B. So write down the formula, probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Filling in what you know, you have two-thirds, that's what the probability of A or B is, equals the probability of A, which is one-half, plus what you're looking for, minus the intersection, which was given to be one-third. So now you have a little bit of arithmetic to do. At this point, I would add the one-third to both sides, and one-third and two-thirds is one, so we get one equals one-half plus b. Subtract the one-half, and you get the probability of b equals one-half. On 15, it says uh, 100 people were asked, do you favor luxury tax? Of the 70 that answered yes to the question, 30 were male. Of the ones that answered no to the question, 20 were male. If one person is selected random, what is the probability that the person answered yes or was a male? Hint, make a table. So here's the table. I do yeses and nos on one area, and males and females, and then totals in both places. So you'll see these come up a lot. So uh, the total number of people sampled was 100, and then it said um, of the 70 that answered yes, so the total that said yes was 70, uh, 30 were male. So here's uh, the 30 that were male. Well, if there's 30 that answered yes and there's 70 total that answered yes, then there must be 40 females that answered yes. Also, if there's 100 total right here, then there must be 30 right here. Since there's 70 here, they have to add up to 100. Now, what else do we know here? Um, okay, of the ones that answered no, 20 were male. So here's no and 20 were male, and that leaves that there had to be 10 right here. And now you can get your totals going across. That would be a 50, and this would be a 50, and everything adds up, and now we can answer the question. So yes or was a male? Well, 70 said yes, and uh, how many were males? 50. But now subtract off the intersection, so we're taking these 70 plus these 50 and subtracting off these 30s because they got counted twice. That's the ones in the intersection. We're doing the probability of yes or male is equal to the probability of yes, which is 70 out of 100, plus the probability of male, which is 50 out of 100, minus the probability of yes and male, which is 30 out of 100. And if you work that out, you will get 90 out of 100, I believe, uh, or is it 80? Let me see. 70 plus 50 is 120, minus these 30, and that gives you, um, yeah, that gives you 90. It's everybody's counted, except for these 10 is what happens. Okay, on 16, 10% of ACM students are nursing students, so I'll label that probably of N equals 0.1. 40% uh, of students are sophomores, I'll label that S for sophomore, probably of sophomores equal to 0.4. And 2% of students are sophomore nursing students. Well, the understood word right there is and. They're sophomore and they're nursing students, and that's 2%. It says find the probability random selecting a sophomore or a nursing student. Sophomore or nursing. Well, here's your formula again. Probably the first one plus the probably the second one minus the intersection. First one's 0.4, second one's 0.1, and the intersection's 0.02. Add it up, you get 0.48, and that's the end of that homework assignment.